Hey guys, welcome back. We are grocery shopping and somebody's spilling things over here. And we just um, stopped by the gas station to get gas and I got an energy drink and let me show them. These things. And oh my gosh, they're really, really good. They're better, I think they're better than the Dove um, chocolate covered almonds. Oh my gosh, I think these are so much better. The Dove ones have too much chocolate, I think. No, I like the Dove ones better. He don't know. But, but we're at Aldi. And we're gonna go to Aldi and Walmart today and try to get our grocery shopping done. I usually make a meal plan and a grocery list. Today I really just made a meal plan because I was kind of in a hurry. But I usually make both. <laughs> so now we're just gonna go into Aldi and do some shopping. We'll take you guys along. I'll show you what I got at the end. So we are in Walmart at probably the busiest part of the day on Saturday, which probably wasn't the smartest move on our part, but what can you do? But I got my list, my rock star, and we're in the meat section. So what's our total at so far? Uh... So Anthony keeps our total while we shop. So I stay on target because I'll get crazy, huh? Yeah, somebody got to keep you in check. Yeah, you know. So now we need one big pack of chicken. Big pack of chicken. So these are my meals up here. I'm trying to do the easiest meals I can do so I can work a lot. So, I like work on YouTube videos for you guys. Chicken at um, Walmart, which is probably like, but it was better than like candy. So, so now we are driving home, and we have a car load. You guys can tell, but we did pretty good. We stayed under. We were trying to stay under 250, and I think we pretty much did that, right? We did go over like about 20 dollars, but we got like toilet paper, paper towels. I had to get some hair stuff that was $10. Um, and we had to get like some command strips that were $5. Whoa. Um, so it was just a bunch of like those little things that kind of pushed us a little bit over. But really, only going over $21, that's pretty good, I think. So. Yeah, I mean. drinking my Rockstar, right? We're like putting our stuff on the cart for Walmart. And 
this guy is basically doing all the work because you know that's kind of how that goes and i shop for everything and then he's the muscle he does all that stuff the funny thing was so i'm drinking this rockstar i take a drink of it and i like totally miss my mouth and it goes right down down my shirt like and i can feel it i'm just like oh no and yeah so luckily i have long hair and i had a jacket on so you can't tell but i feel very sticky i guess you could say but yeah i totally miss my mouth like who does that like who does that y'all i'm super like klutzy about food i like don't pay attention don't shake your head it ain't food all over you while you're eating it's rock star down your shirt we will like i'll be like talking to him while we're like at dinner and i'll like have, i'll like miss i don't know spill i don't know and i'll have like food in my hair and he's like i can't take you anywhere like yeah you love me anyway papa bird Excuse me. Hmm. He does. All right, guys. So we are back home, and I hope you had fun shopping with me. I tried to get as much footage as I could, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, it was busier than expected, but it is a Saturday afternoon, which I usually don't go shopping on a Saturday afternoon. So. What can you do? Without further ado, let's get on into the grocery haul. I'll first show you what I got at Aldi's and then I'll show you everything I got at Walmart. All right, so my Aldi's receipt, let me show you guys the totals, was $5.52.60. My Walmart receipt was $1.21, but this also included some paper products, a hair, some hair stuff that cost me $10 and um, some command strips like I had told you guys before. So we went about $20 over our budget. We were trying to stay about under $250. So I guess we went um, just a, like about $20, what's that? $23, $24 over budget. Could be worse, right? So we'll go through and I'll show you guys what I got. I actually am very excited. It looks like I got quite a bit from Aldi. And there's some over here. And there's some over here. So real life, real life in the middle is all my dirty dishes, but that's okay. And let's go through. So we actually got these cheese pizzas. They're a five cheese and they're called take and bake pizzas. I've never tried them before, but they're 16 inches are huge. I don't have enough room to actually store this in my um, freezer because I have a pull out drawer freezer. So we are gonna eat these for dinner. Probably one tonight and one tomorrow, actually. I don't know if we'll eat the whole thing. We were going to get one that had a lot of toppings, but um, I am trying not to eat meat, y'all. So that is kind of a new thing, kind of trying to go the vegetarian route because um, I just don't enjoy meat. I know, rip me apart. But <laughs> that's just where I am at this moment in my life. So we got these cheese ones because um, I figured we could put our own toppings on and I got some pepperonis and stuff. So I will let you guys know how this turns out. This was cheaper than Walmart though. I did check the price, it was $4.99. I went ahead and got three things of romaine. I should have got a whole nother one of romaine, romaine but that's okay. I wanna say that was $1.99. These I really wanted for snacks. Um, one of my friends brought these to my women's group and oh my gosh, y'all, these are good. I wanna say they're two something, um, but they're non-GMO, they don't have any preservatives, artificial flavoring. So the, the veggie chips are really, really good. I liked all of them. She said she didn't like one of them, but she liked all the rest of them. And then the um, sweet potato chips, so good. Oh my gosh, I never thought, never thought. I uh, went ahead and got pretzels from there because um, they are so cheap. They're like 59 cents. So if y'all like pretzels, they have this kind and the stick kind. They're always 59 cents at Aldi. I went ahead and got some chips for the boys. So sour cream and onion and barbecue is what Anthony picked out. And I want to say they're like seven, this brand is like 79 cents. So that's really good. I went ahead and got two things of spinach. I'm going to use this actually for salads and for smoothies. 
went ahead and got a huge thing of spring mix because, oh my gosh, you guys know I love a spring mix salad. Uh, this was kind of a splurge for me. I got a sourdough bread round, and I think this was like $2.89. That was actually kind of a big splurge for me, but I just wanted it because I'm not eating a lot of meat. I wanted to make sure I could like stay full. Um, so terrible that you're doing that a little bit with more carbs, but... I do feel better not eating as much meat, interestingly enough. Um, my guys are still eating meat, so in case y'all are wondering, <laughs> they will not go ve vegetarian. But um, just one loaf of bread. I actually have one in the freezer, but I like to have one in the freezer at all times. I want to say this was like 89 cents. Two things of eggs, they were 79 cents a dozen. Um, hot dogs, I actually got, this was like by request, my um, husband and my son have been wanting hot dogs lately, so I'm gonna make them one meal each week and that will just be so easy for me and that's fine and they are worth 85 cents for each pack These I was so excited about y'all right now. They were on sale for 79 cents for a box I almost like feel like I should have got more and then Anthony got some frosted flakes back here. Obviously, they're the generic brand. They're probably a dollar something because I couldn't imagine him paying more than that. Less than a dollar fifty for sure. I am gonna try this olive tamponade hummus. I really, really, really love hummus. Um, I thought I would probably love this because I love Middle Eastern hummus. So I'm gonna try this one. I want to say it was about two ninety nine. It's not organic, but that's okay. Got some tortillas to make some chimichangas, and I think I'm gonna shoot a video when I make those for you guys. I don't know if I've shot a video of them before. Maybe I have. If I have, I will definitely link it right here. Pepperonis for the pizza, to put on the pizza. Um, got some butter. This is not, I would say it's not as good as Walmart butter, but it is, it's, I don't know, is as good, um, but it is cheaper. This was like $2.59 versus Walmart butter is like, I uh, usually, more expensive than that for the four pack, but I had some and I wanted to get some more. I got two things of orange juice. Hopefully this will last me two weeks. That is my hope and we'll see if that works out. This is my other thing that I always do. I always just get Colby Jack cheese because this will work on tacos and this will work for any of my casseroles or anything like that. So I can just get a bigger quantity of Colby Jack cheese because it's really versatile because it's, um, kind of like the blend of like Colby and Monterey Jack cheese and that is my my little tip I want to say each of these bags is $1.99 and there are three cups to a bag I went ahead and got some milk y'all know I always buy organic milk because it stays fresher longer so like right now it is the middle of March and this stays good till April 10th there is some almond milk back here that I got or I know this has some sugar in it but I did get it for smoothies and things like that. Um, and just for myself, I'm trying not to do a lot of dairy. I went ahead and got some macaroni and cheese for my little guy um, because he loves it. So I just got these 49 cent ones. Um, easy peasy. And I got the cottage cheese is actually for a casserole. Sour cream is actually for tacos and for a casserole. Um, I love the fact of getting this at Aldi because this is like 85 cents and I want to say the cottage cheese was $1.59. Um, I always get iceberg lettuce for my guys. I don't really care for it myself, but they love it on their tacos and they'll eat salads out of this. So when it's starting to go bad, I always just chop up the rest of it and they'll eat salads before dinner if I make them every single night they would eat them so um, this was only like a dollar back here I got some asparagus because oh, I love asparagus it was on it was at Aldi for $2.29 I want to say and that was quite a bit of asparagus so I'm gonna try to get a couple um, meals out of it because my guys don't like it I got some zucchini and some summer squash down here they were both I want to say one was 109 and 149 something to that effect um, my battery died i had to switch so i'm actually on my phone right now so if the quality looks different it's just how it goes um so i was just telling y'all that i got uh iceberg lettuce back here some zucchini some summer squash uh asparagus and then the asian chopped salad this was about two i think it was like two something um it's just something i really like it's kind of a splurge 
for me because I could chop it up and do it all myself. It's mostly for like the convenience of it um, during the week when um, we're homeschooling and things like that. Back here, this was a kind of a splurge too. I got some green beans. I usually um, don't buy, uh, I usually don't buy the fresh ones because my little guy really doesn't care either way, but I really like them. So I went ahead and got those. I want to say they were $1.50 and the pack was pretty good size. On to the my can movement here. Oh, and I got some celery, uh, blueberries, and some avocado. I always get these at all these, the tomato sauces, because they are the cheapest, they're 25 cents. You just have to make sure that you're not getting ones that have a lot of added salt, and you're good. Um, I got cannellini beans and black beans. These are for when my guys are having um, tacos. I will probably make some kind of burrito bowl-ish without meat, and I wanted to have some mm, cans of beans. <laughs> Um, I got two cans of green beans because I already had some and um, evaporated milk because I use this in while I'm making bread which I will probably shoot a video of that and once I do I will link it right here and I got some sliced peaches because I, I had some other canned fruit but those just sounded good they were about 85 cents I think this was 65 cents um, the green beans are really good price they're like 38 cents for a can on to a little bit more fresher stuff. I got two things of mushrooms, one for actually like a pasta dish that I love, and then one for just putting in salads in general. I got some broccoli crowns, and um, I can't remember how much they were. I wanna say they were a dollar something. Um, I usually just put these in salads. I chop them up really, really fine. And the same thing with the radishes. I usually buy them already chopped up. I didn't find any at Aldi, so I said, well, I'll give me a try at chopping them up. I actually have never chopped them up. I always just buy them in this, like, already chopped, interestingly enough. But these are only 65 cents. Um, they're a good, easy thing to put in salads, though, to get you more, um, more vegetables in your salad. Because you just, if you chop them up small, you don't really taste them at all. Um, I did get some bananas there and some grapes. The grapes are $1.99 a pound, which is okay. Not great, but not terrible. So that this huge thing of grapes, I actually did look at my receipt and it cost $4.46. But that will be good for snacks for me during snacks for me and my little guy um, when we eat lunch. Um, I did get they didn't have the best looking bananas, so that's why these bananas don't look the best, but these were the best they had. So I'll just use those first this week. So let's go on to the other side of the counter. I got this huge, this huge thing of white rice. It was 48 ounces for like a dollar fifty. So I thought that was really good. These are kind of a splurge for my little guy, these chocolate puddings. They're only like 75 cents, but for four of them, which is a really good price that I know it's not a very healthy option. But I guess you're only a kid once, right? Um, this is actually a lot of splurging for me. And because I'm not eating meat, I really was trying to find some nuts, seeds, and stuff that you could get protein out of that um, will keep me fuller and just other things I could snack on and that were better options. So I got some pumpkin seeds, figuring I could put them on salads. Um, almonds, some cashews, those I can just eat regular, um, dried cranberries for salads because I love those on salads. And I have been, everybody that I've been watching on YouTube um, who's like vegan or vegetarian always eats dried mango. So I was going to try this one. I didn't know if it was good or not, but I was going to try it. Um, went ahead and got some blackberries, some strawberries. Baby carrots for my little guys. My camera that's charging, <laughs> or my charger's actually up there. But um, these are actually a really good price at Aldi. They were 79 cents, and that's cheaper than Walmart, so I was excited about that. My strawberries are a really good price too, and I think what I'm gonna do is cut my strawberries up because a lot of times you would not think, but we will waste strawberries because I will just forget about them. So I'm gonna try to cut them up and work with them that way. Um, this is actually a really big splurge item for me. This was $5.99. It's pure maple syrup. I, I didn't look to see if it was cheaper at Walmart, actually. I should have. But um, 
I noticed that because we homeschool, like I usually make full breakfast or um, some kind of full lunch during the day. I probably only make one, one full meal um, because of just my son's appetite. He's not a big breakfast guy. But a lot of times we have uh, waffles or pancakes or like breakfast for lunch basically. And the syrup, we've been doing it about two or three times a week and my syrup was just this like corn syrup, regular, you know, Aunt Jemima type of deal, which was awful and I just felt so weird giving that to my kids. So, I, I know, can't win them all, but um, I just wanted to splurge on this and see if it was better. And so it was about $5.99. As I say that, there's some AP flour, which I know is not the best thing, but I really wanted to make some bread. And we'll go over here. I got a thing of lemons because I'm gonna make a whole, um, I have a recipe to make a whole chicken, like a lemon chicken. And it has lemons and rosemary. It's really, really good. It's a Pioneer Woman recipe. But also I needed some lemons for um, my pasta recipe too. So I just got, instead of buying them one by one, I just got a whole thing of them. I got two things of halos. I have found out that if I take these and peel about five or six at a time, put them in a little bowl, put them in my refrigerator, that my guys will grab those and eat them instead of like chips or something. So. These are about, I want to say two something, 289 ish a piece. And I just looked at my husband and I said, should I get another one? And he said, yeah. So um, I just got two of them to hopefully last us two weeks. And that's kind of expensive, but it's better than chips or something like that. As I say that, look at the junk food. Uh, there's some peanuts. I want to say these were 159. Some crackers. I want to say these were 150. 39 I want to say but like Cheez-Its these interestingly enough I did not know these were so cheap um, these are like the mock Girl Scout cookies the mock Tagalongs and Samoas and they were both 90 well this one was 95 cents this one I think was 139 and then my son loves these like fudge stripe cookies but they're like a dollar six and so um, we did get those I do have to bring some refreshments to my women's group, so those might end up going there. Um, but my husband will definitely steal, probably steal the top anyway. So over here, I have two bags of potatoes. I like the red potatoes. I wasn't sure if one was going to do it for me, so I grabbed two. But they are a really good price of algae. They were definitely cheaper than Walmart. I want to say $1.99, and I know Walmart, they're almost... They're three, I think. I think they're $2.99. So I thought that was a good deal. Uh, these were $1.10, and these were just convenience items for myself. And I want, really wanted some strawberries for smoothies, and these were the cheapest ones I had. I got some mixed fruit, and then I got some strawberries because I figured I could add some of my bananas to them. So I want to say one of them was $1.65, and one of them was $1.19, I want to say. Something, something to that effect. I feel like it's kind of a lot for $152. A lot of it is fresh stuff. And so I'm gonna see kind of how this is gonna work. But I, but I'm definitely um, excited about the amount and the quality. Hey everyone, I wanted to pop on because let me tell you what happened. <laughs> I went to go edit this video last night pretty late around 11 o'clock last night and it was not working there's some files that got corrupted and my whole half the video that had most of my Walmart haul on it was gone um, not gone but just it couldn't be imported it was a huge big mess so I decided uh, after about three hours of working on it and my husband working on it that I was gonna go to bed because it was about three o'clock in the morning and this morning um, I had to uh, teach the kids at children's church and teach my Sunday school and so I just didn't have time to uh, really mess with it but I'm home from church now so I decided to try to work on it 
still couldn't get anywhere so I decided just to do this really fun thing and show you guys what I got but it's already all put away so I'll just show you where it's at because I think that's kind of fun too and it'll be kind of a different kind of grocery haul. I spent about $121 at Walmart. It was um, about $21 over my budget that I wanted to spend, uh, but I did get a bunch of things that were just non-food related items. So I had paper towels, toilet paper, and um, I had some furniture sliders because we had just got a piano uh, given to us and so we wanted to put some furniture sliders under it and we also got some command strips um, to hang up a calendar I think that was all of the things oh I got some hair care miracle 10 um, if you guys don't know what that is it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner and yeah I think that was it and the rest was food so really I would have been under budget for sure if I hadn't got those items. So let me, without further ado, because you all know I can talk and talk and talk, um, I will show you my grocery. At the moment I have this smorgasbord of veg vegetables. Really? What is wrong with me? No. Fruit. Fruit. So I actually did get these two bananas at um, Walmart and I figured I'd be doing some smoothies and that's so that's why I got so many bananas I know it looks crazy because we're only a family of three but um, And usually my son eats about one with breakfast and um, I got Three of these really big avocados. These were actually really ripe and so I really wanted to use these um, This week the other two I got from Aldi were terribly unripe so um, I got three of those big guys they were $3.97 I want to say the bananas were 29 cents a pound I actually got the greenest of the green that I could find and you could still see there have been ripening overnight okay so you guys get to kind of see my refrigerator as well so aren't you lucky let me think I know that let me think down here actually had some stuff that wasn't fitting so I put stuff down here which I'm sure this drawer is really cool it's for like platters and stuff but if I'm not having any parties I just kind of keep random extra things in here so I had three cucumbers I had um, some rosemary for that whole chicken that I'm making that with lemon and rosemary um, the basil is for a pasta that I make and I am not sure that I have a video about that but if I do I will link it um, I actually got some sushi. I totally forgot about this. Um, I got some sushi. I probably need to eat that right now. And that's good because I'm hungry. I really wanted to try some tofu, so I got this. It was only $1.44. I recently have gone pretty much vegetarian, and I really want to try this. So if it's terrible and I hate it, it was only $1.44, so that's okay. Um two things of hot dogs I tried to make the easiest meal plan I could think of I told you all about that and um, so for the weeks we're having spaghetti hot dogs and tacos each week so, so I got two packages of hot dogs and these are just the ones that my husband picked out um, I went ahead and grabbed this chorizo. This is actually a Mexican sausage. It's kind of like a little bit, has a little bit of a spice to it. And we went and got the, went ahead and got the beef chorizo. And my husband really likes this. He's actually Spanish, Mexican, Latino, whatever you want to call it. And um, so we usually have um, chorizo and egg burritos a lot. And it's really good because this stuff is really cheap and you only have to use just a tiny little bit every time you use it and it goes like such a long way. I grabbed these two um, dressings. This one is a cilantro lime dressing. This one says it's called Green Goddess. I think it's kind of like a lemony type of dressing. I'm not sure the ingredients were really intriguing to me and it was organic as you could tell. So these were actually um, kind of like a splurge, but I had a lot of like romaine boats and things like that that I wanted some dressing for, so that's why I got that. 
If you guys haven't seen before my pantry tour or my refrigerator tour, you wouldn't know, but I don't have a pantry in my house, so the homeowners put like this closet, I guess you could say, in. It's like um, just a cabinet closet. It actually works really, really well. Um, I wasn't sure at first, but I'm so glad. They were like, do you want us to leave it? And I was like, yes, and oh, it works so good. So I'll show you guys the things I got from Walmart in here. We had definitely got these um, flour tortillas. Um, my guys have been liking the smaller flour tortillas for tacos. You can see right back here that I always get the Aunt Jemima's uh, pancake mix and I put it kind of back there. I usually have a couple on hand though. That's so funny that I have three. And um, I get the Aunt Jemima's that you just have to add water to just to make it easy for myself. All right, I definitely got two things of the spaghetti sauce and this is actually my favorite kind of spaghetti sauce. I actually started using it because I saw it hauled so much on YouTube, interestingly enough, but it is so good, y'all. Oh my gosh. And I used Classico for like five years and I switched over to this. Oh, I love it so much better. Um, I got two things of olives and I got two things of these already chopped black olives. I used one last night on pizza though, a pizza we got. So back in the back here, we have a thing of spaghetti noodles, a thing of fettuccine noodles, and a thing of egg noodles. So I got those two. Um, this one is for that pasta I told you about. This one's for, sp uh, for spaghetti that we're having. And then this one is actually for a casserole. All right, let's look in the freezer, guys. Well, that is that big pizza that I got from Aldi. But I wanted to show you guys that I did get a big pack of chicken. I already separated it into two little packs. And so that big pack of chicken that will go for two meals was $11.50, I want to say. I also got this ground turkey. This is what I use for tacos. And this was um, $2.28. I actually got, I've been buying the almost $3 one and it was $90.10. But this one was $85.15 and it was quite a bit cheaper, so we went ahead and went for that this time. So I got two of those. I was checking over my receipt for you guys to see if I was missing anything that I hadn't told you yet. And I actually got 12 of these waters because I stopped drinking Diet Coke for Lent. Um, and I'm not Catholic or anything, but I think Lent is an awesome thing. But um, I stopped drinking Diet Coke for Lent and um, I needed to try to find something different when I wanted a little bit of carbonation. I've been doing really good with water actually, but this is my favorite flavored water. It's like 57 cents for one liter. So I got 12 of them to hopefully get me through for the next couple of weeks. And um, this is my favorite kind, wild cherry. I also drink the black cherry too. And um, a bunch of my friends really like the peach. So if you guys are looking for a good flavored water, this is great and it has zero calories, zero sugar, um, no caffeine, and no sodium. So I did need a few essentials like I told you guys. These were my paper towels. I've already put my toilet paper away. I always buy Cottonelle. Cottonelle? Yeah. Um, we got some trash bags. These ones are actually really cheap. Um, instead of the name brand, these are like less than $2 for $17. So we've been buying those actually to get through. And I got a big thing of water because I really like to have about four cases of water. You guys know I'm crazy like that. Um, but they didn't have, I usually buy um, just the great value brand of water and they did not have it. So we got this one instead. Thank you all for coming over and hanging out with me today and sharing this um, shop with me grocery haul. It was really fun to actually shoot it and actually go shopping. It took us longer than we thought. We were so tired yesterday, but at least we'll be good for at least two weeks, if not more. And I will try to shoot more videos along the way to show you guys what we're eating and cooking. If you have any questions or comments, um, go ahead and you know, hit me up below. I love talking to you guys in the comments and um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.